there, this is Cheryl, and I'm going to attempt to do a tutorial on a wood grain tumbler. This is only my second attempt, so I am not an expert. I'm going to be using a tumbler that came from Michaels that I got on sale. I'm going to begin by cleaning with alcohol, then I'm going to prime it with the Rust-Oleum Ultra Coat. And I'm going to use a inexpensive brush from CraftSmart and Ranger Alcohol Ink in purple today. My husband wanted purple. So you may notice that the tumbler already looks purple. That's because I had already done one video and didn't realize that the battery went dead and I lost 90% of what I had done it didn't record so I had to take alcohol ink or alcohol pardon me and clean off everything I had done and start over so it stained the white paint lavender but what what I do is I uh, Put a few drops of alcohol ink on there and I take my brush and I drag it from top to bottom in long strokes and to begin with I'm just going to go around the entire cup and put um, the ink on like you're seeing what I'm you know what I'm doing right now and Be sure and watch all the way to the end if you're interested. I had shared a tumbler I did yesterday and I had used ink on it that I had made myself using some markers from the Dollar Tree and uh, quite a few people asked me how I made those so I at the end of this video will show you what I used uh, to make that alcohol ink. So once I have got, you know, a, a layer of the purple ink all the way around, I'm going to begin working in sections. And I'm going to add some more ink. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag it up and down. But I'm going to keep working that one section. As the alcohol ink begins to dry, it gets thicker, it gets harder to move, it, um, it gets a little sticky, and as I'm pulling on it, it starts looking like a grain. And as I shorten my strokes and don't pull as far up, it kind of makes a line. And then if I pull and drag through that, it gives a really nice wood grain effect. I like the way it looks. Um, so I'm going to move to the next section. If you are liking the way it looks, then stop and move on. You'll see in a few areas where I don't move on quick enough and I have to keep starting over trying to get it to look good. So on this next section, I started at the top and I'm working to the bottom. And I'm doing the same thing where I use the long strokes and then shorten my strokes to get those um, little rings in there and then I pull up and pull a grain out of it. Now I'm going to start at the bottom and work to the top and do the same thing going this direction. I don't know why but I like the way that looks. Um, so that's how I did mine and I'm not sure if maybe a different base coat a little darker color maybe purple underneath might have made this a little easier I did struggle with as I was pulling the ink along sometimes it would um, almost be too light and it would for me it was like the white was showing so I kept messing with it, trying to 
get ink back in the, the places where I felt like I had pulled too much of it out and that didn't always work there I'm just going through and trying to pull the grains um, longer with the dry, you know the drier your brush the the better that works so now I'm going to move on to the next section and work from the top to the bottom now if you mess up if you don't like the way something looks then just put some more ink on there because when you put the ink on top of the ink that's underneath it it just kind of erases it and you have to you know a blank slate to start over again so here I'm trying to work on a little knot where I have the rings that are going around in a, in a circle and so what I'm doing is uh, making my brush stroke shorter and shorter but the ink got so thick and um, difficult to work with that I used just a little plain alcohol that I have in a cup sitting there and I erased it and I'm going to start that section over again so um, I'm just doing the long strokes and then getting shorter and shorter now with the alcohol um, it takes a little bit longer because it thins thins that ink out quite a bit so it takes a little longer to um, work it dry but as you can see I'm just shortening my strokes um, so that um, it's making little circles and here's where I'm struggling with it's not dark enough left in that little knot <clears throat> pardon me in that knot but this is trial and error and I'm new at this I'm learning along with everybody else so I'm just gonna keep working at it until I get it the way I want it if I need to add more ink I add more ink if I need to wipe it clean and try again I just get some alcohol on my brush and I try again until I'm satisfied with how it looks now it wasn't too bad and I'm gonna keep messing with it until you know I'm not sure if I made it better made it worse um, eventually I'm gonna just move on because nope I'm gonna add some more sorry um, there we go so I'll just start over because I didn't it just didn't look the way I wanted it to after I kept messing with it uh, now it's getting thicker you can tell by the brush doesn't move as easily it starts to drag and that means the the ink is is drying and um, I'm just going to keep adding and trying to work out that that knot I don't remember having quite as much trouble yesterday with the wood colored ink that I used but I think every ink is going to be a little different probably each brand will be a little different the pigments the colors may change uh, a little bit of the consistency in, in inks so it's all going to be a matter of feel you're just going to get the feel for it and um, it's going to be different for each tumbler you make it no two will ever be the same and the it's kind of like wood grain itself it's very organic and it's going to be just random and I think that's what makes it so pretty hopefully I'm about done with this and we're gonna move on I'm really happy to be back uh, making YouTube videos I've been gone quite a while um, I don't know if any of you saw the video where I explained that we had to move very suddenly 
we had gone on vacation and the day we returned from um, our vacation we had a notice that the home we were leasing was going to be put up for sale and we had to vacate within 60 days and uh, that was just really through just you know chaos into our lives because we were not prepared or even planning to move and having to find some place and get out and get settled in that length of time was really difficult uh, but we managed we found a place it's um, quite a bit smaller than where we had been so I am still struggling to fit fit in here um, but we have a you know we like it here we moved to Camarillo from Moore Park and it's a little different um, it's a lot cooler here I guess because we're so much closer to um, the ocean so that's nice and I'm still just working in sections on this wood grain and just shorten the strokes as the ink begins to dry it'll start looking like rings and sometimes I turn the brush to the side to make a little narrower stroke in there so it gets smaller and smaller I'm thinking after I finish this tumbler and put the uh, Krylon triple thick sealer on it that I may go back over this one again with um, another layer of the purple ink to see if I can't uh, make it a little richer darker I will uh, once the tumblers completely finished because I'm going to put a design on it and a name and all that kind of stuff uh, after I'm done and eventually I'm going to epoxy these things I haven't even bought epoxy yet these these are my very first tumblers and I don't know what I'm doing but um, I'm willing to share the experience with you as I learn and maybe we'll learn something together but um, I think that I'm going to try to richen the color up a little bit with a second layer but you can't put a second layer directly on top of this as you've seen the minute you add any alcohol or more ink to it it just erases what's there so I'll have to seal it and then try to add another layer and when it's completely done I will uh, post pictures of it on my Cheryl's Design page on Facebook and you can find the link in the banner on my YouTube channel and this you know this was a lot of fun it's not a difficult thing to do and if you don't like what what you've done it's really easy to undo it try again um, if you just hate it and it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to like I said in the beginning I had to start over so just take your alcohol and a rag and wipe it all off and do something else you haven't lost anything you've still got a tumbler that's been primed and you can do something else with it but I, I'm kinda happy with uh, you know I'm sure given time and and um, more practice I will get better at doing the wood grain but I'm pretty happy with how it's looking for my first attempts and I'm hoping uh, to to make some really pretty tumblers with this I did also do um, a different uh, it was like a little milk bottle yesterday and I decoupaged on it with a napkin and I was really happy the way it with the way it turned out also 
but I can't really do anything or share anything with it at this time because it's going to a friend and until I give it to her I can't really show it off so but that was a lot of fun too I was real real happy with how it turned out of course it hasn't I haven't done epoxy on it either I'm scared to death of the epoxy ruining everything I've done I hope I can uh, I hope I can do that part right so it'll I know it's just a learning experience I'll just have to keep trying and so I'm really working to try to get that knot to look decent and as you can see I'm just dragging the ink up and down and that pulls those grains out in the the wood the wood grain out I'm going to move on to the next section. And you just do this all the way around. Long strokes and as the ink begins to dry, it kind of starts dragging the brush and uh, leaving the darker lines. Like I said, then I just try to pull those out. And the paint got, or the ink got a little too thick and wasn't moving very well for me, so um, I just add a little alcohol. And I go back and forth, maybe a little ink, maybe a little alcohol. And I eventually get it. Where I'm satisfied with how it looks and as you see I'm shortening those strokes which makes those rings and then as it begins to dry I will be able to pull my brush on up through those rings and drag the grain out now I guess I wasn't happy with the way those rings look so I decided to wipe them off If you like the way it looks, stop. Don't keep messing with it like I do. And uh, then once the brush is pretty much dry, and I put a little bit more, I'm just trying to get the center of that to be a little darker. And I'm just touching the brush to a little alcohol. I don't want to put too much. get those rings in there then as it gets drier I can pull the brush up through and make the grains there they go and then I'm gonna go around and just kind of no I'm just gonna keep messing with this till I mess it up again <laughs> I don't learn it's, it's going to be alright. There we go. And then I'm going to go around and try to pull a few more of the layers out on some of the other sections. And I, yeah, it got too white here. So I'm going to just try to add some more. I'm sorry about the glare. You really can't see what's going on right there. But there was a spot that... Uh, it was a little too white, didn't have enough of the ink left there, so I'm just trying to add a little color to it. And now I'm going to lengthen some of these grains, some of the other sections. But that brush is pretty much dry. It's not, not very wet at all. And I do apologize, I did do the bottom of the cup. And I was out of frame and you couldn't see any of it. So I just went ahead and deleted that part of the, the video because I find it very frustrating watching somebody work off camera, off out of frame. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And now here's the bonus section um, where you can see how I made um, some alcohol inks for the the tumbler that I made yesterday. So, and I started with Dollar Tree furniture scratch markers. 
and I cut them with that little saw that I found at the Dollar Tree and don't forget the nibs because there's a lot of ink in there too and I just I had some discarded spice jars so that's what that is and there is the finished tumbler from yesterday that one has the triple thick um, sealer on it already but it has not been epoxied um, and I, I will have to figure out what I'm gonna put on it so thank you I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing I'd appreciate it and I'll see you next time thanks